Greetings folks, I have a couple of very nice new receivers from FreeSky to show you today. They are both twin protocol receivers. Uh, I'll do two different videos about these receivers because there's enough information to fill a, a video for each one of them with the, the setup and the flying style or the flying demonstration, which I always like to do. So we have the twin uh, GR8, which is specifically designed for gliders, uh, being an eight channel uh, you could do a full house setup and have a, an onboard variometer, as well as the uh, amazing new twin protocol. And the other one is the twin SR8, uh, which is a stabilized receiver. So the twin protocol, so you'll need a twin protocol module like this uh, twin light pro that I've got on the uh, X20. The X20 is a tandem protocol. Uh, but with the external module, you can use uh, twin protocol receivers. Now, these days I'm using a lot of Express LRS gear. Uh, and you can think of the twin protocol as sort of F FreeSky's uh, proprietary um, equivalent of Express LRS, as well as uh, the normal FSK or the, the normal sort of receiver protocol that we're used to using for years and years. So the receivers are basically two receivers in one. They have two chipsets on them. They have the FSK uh, chipset, frequency shift keying. Uh, as I said, most of the radios we use and have used for decades use uh, frequency, frequency shift keying. But this also has the LoRa chip, uh, which is the equivalent to Express LRS style or uh, TBS uh, Crossfire. Uh, those long range systems. So this has both active at the same time. Uh, and rather than having a redundancy system where you have uh, the second redundancy receiver kick in when the first one goes into fail safe, this has both systems working all the time, active all the time. So the combination of the two, well, let's pull it out anyway. So the combination of the two protocols gives you extreme long range or well, you know, multiple tens of kilometers, more than you'd ever admit to probably. Uh, and the FSK gives you the uh, extreme low latency with all the telemetry and all that sort of stuff. Uh, the FSK, I mean, is still going to give you three kilometers in good conditions anyway. So pretty good stuff. So the, yeah, the combination of the two gives you sort of uh, much improved RC link security. Now the advantage over the tandem receivers is that they are, they are only 2.4 gigahertz antennas uh, rather than a 2.4 gigahertz and a 900 megahertz which is a nice big chunky antenna so small antennas means that these are perfect for fitting into small gliders and it's much easier to uh, position the antennas for the best reception and they say these are perfect for gliders in noisy rf situations so you know i could imagine competition gliders would benefit from the use of these uh, twin glider receivers i know the glider the rc glider club nearby here uh, they do a lot of gps triangle racing so i'm pretty sure and they go out for kilometers in a big triangle uh, so i'm pretty sure this is the sort of receiver that they would really benefit from and in the twin series radios, there is this X14S, which to me looks like a perfect radio. It is uh, small. Uh, I mean, this is a, a really high quality radio, but it's just too big and heavy uh, for, for me, really. Uh, I don't really need the big touch screen. Um, so this X14S, smaller, lighter, cheaper, has all the bits and pieces, uh, like has all the switches, has uh, sliders on the shoulders. Uh, momentary push buttons on the back and hopefully I'm going to get a chance to play with one of these so if that turns up um, I'll have a lot of fun working that one out but let's go and have a closer look at the little TWGR8 receiver so here's the receiver uh, let's have a look at what, what's in the packaging we get some spare antennas uh, the receiver has the sort of sleeved antennas on them these are uh, unsleeved so they're going to fit in tighter places I guess and make it easier to route them in a small glider get an information card that will be the S port and F port cable and we get another unterminated cable that you can connect however you want uh, but here we go is the receiver two antennas one for long range and one for FSK 
registration button there, it's just hidden below a flap. Channels 1 to 6 on the left hand side there and uh, channel 7 and 8 over here. S bus out and S bus in there. And this is the F bus or S port port. Uh, plus A in 2 and minus A in 2 is analog input. Uh, so you can make up your own sort of telemetry con connection for voltage uh, monitoring. LED here, uh, it is uh, blue, red and green. And it's the information on the back. Now I'll show you how to register and bind it. Uh, it's the same with all of these uh, FRSky, at least access level receivers anyway. Uh, so model... RF system, we turn on the external module, turn off the internal module, choose uh, the twin light, twin light Pro, choose Twin Mode. Uh, channel range can be 1 to 16 or 1 to 24. Let's leave it at 1 to 16. Can choose the power up to 500 milliwatts. Uh, 100 milliwatts is plenty for me. Bind. Receiver one. Uh, now we need to. We're not binding. Sorry, we are registering. Let's register. Waiting for receiver. So we hold down the button and plug in five volts. It's uh, detected the TWG R8. So we'd click register there and register. click register. Receiver connected, all right, so we'll unplug it. Now we'll, go to, now we'll go to bind, we choose the receiver, repower the receiver. It's detected the GR8, so we select that and it's bound. So that is now bound and ready to go. And we have a blue light showing there. Usual thing we do now, just to make sure that, that is actually working. Plug in a receiver, twiddle the sticks, and we are properly bound. So that's cool. Now to get the Vario side of it working, it's probably already going to be set up because I was playing with it before. Special functions, I've set up a special function, selected play Vario, enabled it and select a switch. So now if I select Vario and lift up the receiver, you won't see me do this. There it is there. I'm lifting it up. There's the high beeps. Coming down, there's the low beeps. So there you go. And we've also got Zero meters. also got uh, altitude readout as well. Zero point one meters. Zero point nine meters. That's holding it up high. So there we go. So that's basically all the setup there is with this one. So what I want to do now is uh, put it in the glider and take it out and see if we can hear some of those beeps. This is the Phoenix V2 2 metre glider. I have the twin GR8 mounted up in here. Eight channel receiver so I can use all separate channels for all the control surfaces. That means I can have crow braking. Uh, Full span ailerons, although my flaps are only going down and not up, so not a lot of use. And camber as well. Uh, and uh, I'm using one set of pins, a pin set number eight to power the run cam thumb that this is recording on. Um, and I have altitude call out. 31.1 meters. Uh, sounds like I need to reset the altitude, uh, but anyway, I'll do that now and uh, we can have won't be any thermal lift today, I don't think. Uh, we may get a little bit of slope lift off the cliffs in front of me, but anyway, let's uh, go for a fly and see how it goes. I'll just zero that. <coughs> Get up to a decent amount of height. Meters. Meters. Okay. There's the sound of rising. Motor cut gliding. Good 
bit of lift out there. Got the beeps up very loud, so I wouldn't normally have it that loud. Sinking a bit. See if we can get some slope 49. lift. 49.4 meters. Maybe not. 48 meters. Anyway. 45.1 meters. That's distracting me a bit too much. Uh, so here's some crow breaking. See it slows down and starts descending. Very nice. How about a bit of. Uh, Bit of camber that might help with lift a little bit but we're gliding around nicely using all eight channels of the twin how's the uh, rssi it's reading 70 or so but we're flying nicely if it was a nice sunny day, I'd go somewhere and try and get a bit of thermal lift, but uh, not to be today. 28.1 meters, 33.9 meters, 48.1 meters, 60.1 meters. Let's do a bit of gliding. 62.6 meters. Anyway, you get the idea. 41.1 meters. Altitude call out and vario beeps. 36.5 meters. 34.1 meters. 31.1 meters. 26.7 meters. 25.2 meters. Wind's kind of in the wrong direction for decent slope lift, but a uh, bit of electric lift. Anyway, there we go. A lovely receiver with uh, very long range. Benefiting from the FSK and the LoRa modulation of the twin receivers with onboard Vario. That's pretty cool. Fantastic glider receiver, I would say. Let's see if we can bring it in for a nice landing now. Crow on.
Look at this. Nice and close. Very good. So there you go. That's uh, that's a pretty cool receiver and working well with the X20 and the uh, what is it? The Twin Light Pro uh, external module, um, the Twin GR8 glider receiver. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time.